Hi, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to make an ocean themed trinket tray. Um, so I've got some clamshells, I've got a little stand for it and um, some little accessories that I'll be putting into the trinket tray. Um, and so we're going to be using um, Resin Pro Transparent Resin and I'm going to add this glitter. So I've got one from Larissi which is Macaron Aqua Blue um, if I could open it just grab some scissors it's a beautiful colour lovely texture as well it's got some small pieces and some large sparkle pieces it's um it's really nice let's well add some of that let's see and then we're also going to add some um Larissi um transparent light blue glitter as well i do tend to mix glitters up i don't tend to use just one one shade or one type of glitter i do tend to mix them up but i like them for different textures as well um so we'll add that one into there and get all the bits off and see how we're looking And then I've got one more. So I think we'll just add this, <coughs> excuse me, Hemway Baby Blue glitter. Just add a little bit of that as well. debating whether to add a little bit of alcohol ink as well. I think we might. I'm just going to go grab some alcohol ink. So I'm also going to add a couple of drops of Let's Resin Sky Blue Alcohol Ink. Just to deepen the colour of fraction. beautiful colour try and release some of the bubbles get the resin in, the, in all the little gaps some little squishying to it. The same again. You can see the bit there's some big bubbles coming up. Um, but it's one of those moulds where you need to really make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. Let that settle and I'll come back to that one. Do the stand. And then we'll do the seaweed. Try to take some very thin 
layer on the seaweed otherwise you lose your little holes in between so the best I found the best way is to pour it on just scrape it into the little holes spread it Let me just do some shells and do the fish as well. And the turtle. Spilling that once we'll spread that into another. There we go. Let's come back and check on the clamshells. We've got to go there and do another dolphin. Seahorse. There we go. I think we're good to go with those. Got a bit of overspill on the dolphin there. There we go. So I'm just going to give them a little blast with the heat gun and then I'll leave them to, um, to cure and set up and I'll be back for stage two. See you in a while. Hi, welcome back. So all the components from a beach ocean themed um, trinket tray are now cured. So let's go ahead and demold them all. Start off with the one of the clam shells. The colour's very pretty. I like the glitter in there too. Do the other shell. spill on there that I'll just need to trim. A little fishy.
used this fish mold so many times. It's a lovely mold. I've got a few of them, but um, it is one that you do use a lot. Some shells, and the seahorse, two dolphins. But I can feel some overspill in the dolphins, so I just need to trim that back. And the base. Which is actually a candlestick mould. <coughs> I use it as a base for my trinket trays and it works out beautifully. It's just the right size. seaweed or coral, whichever way you choose to look at it. And some more shells. Oops. A couple of them have got a bit of overspill so I'll need to deal with that. I'll pop those into there because I need to deal with the overspill on those. So I've just got a little bit of overspill to deal with um, on a couple of these shells and the dolphins so I'll just pause while I deal with that and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to put it all together. Okay so I've just got some black card so I can show you um, the shapes that I've made. So I've got two clamshells I've got some seaweed or coral um, whichever you want it to be it can be either the base and then I've got some shells Oops. the seahorse the dolphin the turtle and some more shells starfish and of course my little fish. So I'm not sure how many of them we're going to use um, but I'll show you, I'll start showing you how they're going to go together. So they're all the pieces. So I normally start off, I tend to use UV resin um, to get everything in place and then I epoxy resin over the top of everything to keep it well and, well and truly secured in place. So we'll start off doing the clamshells together first of all. I'm just going to use the torch. And this is the best way to do it by UV resin first and um, then epoxy resin over the top.
Okay, so I've glued everything on apart from the base with UV resin. I'm just going to try and hold it against the black card so that you get a better view of it. I don't know how good the view will be there. Um, so I'm just going to pop some epoxy resin on everything now to secure it in place and then I'll come back and show you final photos at the end. And that's my little ocean themed trinket tray. I'll be back shortly with the um, the final results once I've epoxy resined everything. <laughs> 